Hello folks. Uh, uh, today let us learn um, the basics of Java. So no, this is the first video on Java. So I'll teach you how to create a Java project, uh, then uh, the class file, and then the, the base uh, of method creations. This is a bread and butter for Java folks. So if you are strong in how to create, strong understanding on how to create a class file and the methods, then you have won 20% of the battle of Java. First, you should have these basic concepts, okay? So let us start with the Java project. So if you are new to Java, just uh, I think this ID, you know how to install. I will I will not spend much time on that. Uh, if you need, I can have another video on how to install a Java project. This is an ID. Okay, I am using uh, STS. You can use Eclipse, IntelliJ, anything you wish. Okay, and I am using a Windows laptop. So new project, Java project. To go to other from shortcuts also you can go, but a better uh, one is uh, from other. If you go right, other Java project, you can select a Java project. Uh, you can give any name. I will uh, I will just give my Java project. All right. Then next finish. Okay, this is not needed. All right. Now Java project is created. So whenever you write programs, right, you write under SRC. This is a folder structure where you will be writing all the programs. And these are the de defaults, uh, default uh, package, whatever it needs, right? Uh, um, so it drivers and all, it will install, okay? it will come by default. Now SRC, right? First, in any Java application, any create uh, any project creation, right? There will be certain standards. Like first, you need to create a package. Then you need to create a class. Packages are nothing but uh, they are of a structure, folder structures. In in other words, in Windows, you create a folders for photos, videos, and all. And all right. So same way here in a project, you need to give a structure, and so we use packages packages is optional if you want to have a good structure you can create package otherwise directly you can create a um your own cl direct class files you can create so package always for example for java basics i will create a package in java basics uh, the standard says that all the package names should be We'll start uh, with uh, lower case letters. So I have given uh, lower case letters. Okay, this is one of the standards. All right. So under this package, I will create a class. Okay, class. Now what we are learning today, we are learning class and method, folks. Always, whenever you are creating a class, right, it should start with the first letter as caps. This is a standard, right? So always maintain um, caps as your first letter. Then for execution, we need this public static void main. Any program, if you want, if you write, right, there should be certain executor. And here in build Java, right, we have this public static void main. Again, if you are going for uh, some other EJ executors like JUnit or test uh, or something, so you can go with their own, um, then this will not be mandatory, okay? Um, but for by default Java, right? We need to have this public static wide. Whatever data, whatever code you call here, only that will get executed. In a minute of time, I will show you how exactly I will execute one simple uh, program. Okay, so let me explain this code. First is the package name. If you are creating package, this should be there. Okay, 
otherwise if you don't have package this is not needed then class name class name class name always whatever your file name right java file name class method dot java same thing it will be here class name and uh, your file name will match uh, except this extension okay so now this is your class and under this class you have this runner right now let us uh, run on standard uh, we want to print something okay so for that one i already did one program but again one more time i will show you sys out sys out you need to write then control space bar if you do right automatically it will come so what i did come for comment you will use uh, two slashes control plus space bar okay when you do right it will go so what you need to do i will try right here also this out so here sys out control space bar in this one you can um, like uh, my first program okay and save it save is you can do control uh, yes or save okay now if you want to execute right run has java application if you do it will my first program whatever you gave here okay so this one already it is inbuilt uh, java method class i said class is this class file method this is inbuilt java uh, method now you want to create your own method right so if you want to create a, your own method first let us format to format it is control shift and f i can write here also control plus plus shift control shift plus f if you do right control shift f it will format okay. now let us create our first method okay now we created class everyone is clear right folks method for creating a method there are two types of method one is static method another one is a public method but let us talk today only on public method so public okay and i'm going with a wide only okay return we will see later this is a simple first program right so let us we are not returning anything public wide you need to give your method so i will say my method is method one okay and method should always uh, end with open and close brace okay then inside this this is your complete method okay open and close brace here again what i i do i want to do sys out control space bar right and i want to write my first method one okay save it run the program what you need to expect you need to expect this one but this will not come yet because what i said earlier whatever we we write inside this runner class right that, that only it will get printed otherwise it will ignore you, you write thousands of lines of code it doesn't matter we need to write whatever you want to execute it should be between uh, in in public static void main right so now i want to call this one how i will call this so for that java is object oriented uh, programming right so for this method you need to create an object okay i will object is nothing but class file right based on the class file an object will be created now here we have uh, the class file name is class method you can see over here right 
this this one this one this one all this is class so always you should be class name only you can create an object obg one object you can give any name equal to now i am creating a new and same same uh, uh, name you need to give here open close um, okay brace and semicolon this is a syntax guys so syntax this is a java syntax the only thing is class name you give here object whatever name you want new is mandatory and you need to give the same name with the uh, open close brace and semicolon now your object is created now once you create an object it will start recognizing this one okay now uh, for this particular class whatever this is the object okay so now obg dot one dot so it will start it will start searching methods these are all uh, inbuilt methods now my method is method one right just so just uh, type m method one came here okay what was under method one my first method one so it will get printed so if you run right okay my first program my first method right okay now n number if you if you copy paste one more thing for example i will do this one method 2 okay method 2 and here we will put method 2 now here obj1 dot method 2 all right okay save it before saying control shift f always you need to format our uh, our code method 1 method 2 right okay now till now we did only in this file we played with the class and method I want to create one more class file. This time we will not have any executor there. Okay. Class. I can call it as class um, class two. Okay. Just class two. Okay. And I will not check this one box. Class two. Now in this class two, I will create one more method. Method three, I will create public wide method three what i said okay open close bed power bracket that's it okay control shift f okay now here sys out control space bar okay my first method three save it now this one i want to call here okay so to call here i can't call directly there are two ways of to call that one first first way is you need to create uh, one more object okay what how you will create an object object means it should strike your my brain first what i need to do Na take the name of the file what is the name of the file class method okay then obj2 equal to new class method close brace all right now it started recognizing now it got connected to class 2 okay now uh, obj this is your object name you want to use it dot method okay here guys here it is your method three all right so um, method three what i did class two so here also class two i did right sorry so here i did first method only i called by mistake now it should be class two right class two class two okay one was first message was class method first uh, second one is class two obj2 dot 
method three. Now it started recognizing here. This one. Okay. So my first method one, my first method two. This is my first method three. Save it and run it. Okay. First one, first method, second method. These two methods came from here. This program. Third method came from the scan class file. Okay. Now somebody like you may assume, okay, I don't want to. Um, why I need to create one more object without creating an object I want to copy. That also provision is there in Java. What you need to do extends. You need to put extends. What you want to extend with this class, you want to extend class two. Class two. If you do, it got connected now with this class. Now you need not create an object, just comment it. Okay. Now object, for example, here, right? Object one only. This file recognize object one, right? Object one dot method three was there. See, it, it started recognizing that. Okay. Say run Java program. So my first program method on method two method three. Okay. So guys, this watch this video again. Uh, if I was fast. Uh, but what we learned today, we have learned how to create a class. Inside the class, we, we saw how to print the message, okay? Then we, we created one method, first method here, and we printed it. Then we created a second method in the same class file and printed it. Then what we did, we created one more class, okay? And we call that class, either by creating the object object like this or by extending okay um yeah just guys just you know uh, practice yourself and uh, thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video will be useful for everyone thanks a lot